In this video, I will be showing you a variety of graphs from the ELUSB5 data logger to give you an example of what the graph looks like with each mode of operation. The examples shown use a normally open switch with the logger set for volt-free operation in falling edge type. It is also possible to use a voltage input, rather, a switch instead, by selecting the appropriate logger settings. In this graph, you have the event mode. In this example, there are three presses of a normally open switch. The recorded data shows you the time each switch press was recorded. On the graph, each switch press is represented by a single vertical line. In this mode, there is no corresponding line recorded when the switch is released. Note in this mode you cannot determine how long the switch was pressed for. In the data view mode, you can see the reading date and time of each recorded switch press. The event value is shown as low, zero, because a normally open switch was used with the logger configured for a falling edge type. In this graph, you have the state mode. In this example, there are three switch presses of a normally open switch with the logger set for falling edge type. Each switch press is approximately four seconds long. The recorded data shows you the date and time for each switch press and release. It is therefore possible to determine the time the switch was closed from the recorded data. Alternatively, you could move the mouse cursor across the graph to get the corresponding event date and time of each event. In the data view mode, you can see the reading date and time of each recorded switch press and release. The event column shows a low 0 value for each switch press and a high 1 value when the switch is released. You may notice that an event is recorded at the end when the logger is connected to the PC. This may or may not be seen depending on the logger settings. To avoid recording an unintentional event when the logger is disconnected from the USB, following setup you should consider using the delayed start feature. In this graph, you have count mode. In this example, there are 28 switch presses. The graph shows a corresponding horizontal line at 28 on the count total y-axis. The value is also shown in square brackets below the graph when the mouse is moved across the graph. In the data view mode, you will get one reading only which represents the total number of switch presses that occurred during the logging session. Note in this mode you will not get the date and time when each switch press occurred. In this graph you have the count per mode. In this example the count period was set for 5 second intervals. The recording length was 50 seconds with a total of 37 switch presses. The graph shows you how many switch presses occurred in each recorded interval. As you move the mouse across each bar on the graph, the total count for that time interval is shown in square brackets below the graph. In the data view mode, you can see the reading date, time, and number of events that occurred in each time period. Note, in this mode, you will not get the date and time that each switch press occurred. You will only get the number of counts that occur in each time interval.